One chapter in Ancient Goryeo, a warrior named Han Ji Yu sat in his tower, towering over vast mountain ranges. He was there for many days, meditating and practicing swordsmanship. Evenings passed in solitude over a cup of wine sitting in front of the window. The nights were hot and near the open window it was cool. Mountains covered with forests, valleys, small villages. Roads are visible from the window. But every evening he saw the same picture. The faint light in the distance had been flickering for days now. And he couldn't help but wonder who or what had caused it. Han Ji Yu looked at the light for a long time while sipping wine. In those evenings when there was no flicker, the warrior experienced disappointment, sadness. The feeling of some incredible attraction did not leave Hang Ji Yu. As a warrior, he was naturally inquisitive and courageous. He couldn't just sit and wonder what that light was, he had to explore. So he mounted his trusty horse and galloped towards the mountain range. The road was long. He drove for several hours until he finally reached the light source. To his surprise, he found a small fire burning in the middle of the mountains in a small valley. At first, he was confused as to who might be here in the wilderness, but as he got closer, he realized that they were a group of nomads. The nomads were a peaceful tribe that traveled the land. Never staying in one place for too long, they welcomed Han Ji Yu, the son of the local prince, with open arms and invited him to sit around the fire, share their food and stories. As night fell, Han Ji Yu learned about the way of life of the nomads and their traditions. He was fascinated by the nomadic lifestyle. In turn, the nomads were intrigued by Han Gyu's martial prowess and his knowledge of Goryeo history. Han Ji Yu has always prided himself on his swordsmanship and archery skills. So when the nomads challenged him to a friendly competition under the stars, he gladly agreed. The night was clear and the stars shone brightly in the sky. Han Ji Yu and the nomads gathered around the fire with swords and arrows at the ready. The competition was fierce, but Han Q proved to be the smartest and most skilled of them all. He deftly dodged the attacks of his opponents and delivered accurate blows himself, while maintaining his composure. When the competition ended, the nomads were impressed by Han Gyu's prowess and welcomed him as one of their own. They opened jugs of wine and toasted their newfound friendship. They laughed and sang until late at night, enjoying the warmth of the fire and each other's company. As the night wore on, Han Ji Yu found himself having the best time of his life. He had never felt so alive and free. As the sun began to rise, Hang Ji Yu said goodbye to his newfound friends and mounted his horse to return to his tower. This meeting made an impression on him. Despite the pleasure he got from the nomads, Hang Ji Yu could not get rid of the curiosity that initially led him to the mountains. He knew that the fire he found and the nomads he met were not the source of the light he saw from his tower. So he said goodbye to his new friends and set off on his horse to continue his search. He drove across the rough terrain, looking for any sign of the elusive light. The whole day went in search of the place from which the light could flicker. As the sun began to set, he found himself deep in the heart of the mountains. Surrounded by thick forests and steep cliffs, Han Ji Yu was tired, he wanted to eat, and no one was urging the horse on, both of them wandered without an exact direction. The sun in the mountains quickly sets, twilight comes instantly. Han Ji Yu decided to return, the search did not yield results, failure echoed in his chest with pain. As he and his horse trudged along the narrow path, 
Han Yu suddenly saw a faint light flickering in the distance. His heart was pounding with excitement, and he galloped his horse into the light.